Hi, I'm Larry. And I'm Beth. And this is Tucker. And you're watching Trucker Josh Vlog on YouTube. everybody our last day of this trip going home today just got to deliver the steel I have on my flatbed behind me into Oak Bluff turn right onto the Trans Canada Highway ramp then merge onto Trans Canada we're here in Blumenort Manitoba a town where I spent a lot of my childhood they have a blue water truck wash here and I'm gonna go and get my truck washed they're expecting me I've just never been here before yet so uh, I'm not too sure where to go so I'll park here in front of this nice shiny Kenworth. Go ask in the office over here. Because there's also Steve's Livestock here, right? That's the company. But uh, Blue Water Wash is a company that's owned by them. They also wash outsider trucks like mine. Nice Kenworth though, eh? Beautiful. Just needs a studio sleeper on it and I'd be sold. So I've already dropped off my trailer. I've unloaded my trailer and dropped off my trailer. And now I'm bobtailing, uh, so I've never had a truck wash here before yet, but uh, we'll see how they do. You know, it'd be nice to have some blue beacons around here, but if these guys do a good job for a similar price, maybe even cheaper, who knows? We'll see what happens. Well, this is new, eh, Diesel? I thought we were going home, man. And then you brought me here. Where are we? This isn't home. Is mom here? Going home soon, Diesel. Soon. First, we gotta wash the truck. We gotta get all the salt off of it. It's a dirty girl. We don't like dirty girls. It's all cleaned up. So this is the wash bay. They're supposed to come and help me out soon. The prices are actually really nice. So they've. Uh, it's a bit different than Blue Beacon. They have the option of just a wand wash here for $45. It's Canadian, so that's like $35 American. Or you can get it, the wand wash and brushed for $70 Canadian. That's probably what, $55 American? And that's just as good of a, as a wash of Blue Beacon, I would think. It probably just takes them a little bit longer though, because I think, I don't think they have like eight guys that wash at the same time here. But, uh, so it's either, like I said, either $45 just the wand wash or $70 for the wand wash and the brushing and then an extra $20 for the engine wash so if you wanted the full package it'd be $90 Canadian which is still cheaper than my regular wash at Blue Beacon which is usually about $105 Canadian so this time I just went for the wand wash and engine wash because it's so dirty outside the trucks can get dirty right away again anyway but I just wanted a quick rinse down to get all the salt off so that it doesn't rust as quickly. I think we're just waiting for the next shift to start. But I wonder if I'm gonna have to pull up in here between these. This is probably where the oh yeah that's where the undercarriage wash would come from. Yeah they're probably gonna get me to pull up on top of that wash the bottom of my motor. I'm thinking I don't know. It smells like uh pigs in here because this company is a pig hauling company pig haulers <laughs> look at all that see all that salt we got to get that off of here if you leave it sitting on there it rusts it out all this around here look how dirty that is uh, so just a wand wash a little spray down will be good well, I tell you what, first impressions are everything, right? What a bad taste this place has put in my mouth. I sat in here for 40 minutes until someone came in here and was surprised that I was in here. They didn't know I was in here waiting for them. And then my window rolled down just so that when they walked up to the side of my truck here, like I was surfing Facebook or whatever, right? Just something when they walked up to the side of my truck, uh, they could talk to me, right? And so I was sitting here, the guy comes out, oh, I didn't even know someone was in here. Like, I'll go get someone to 
get in here right away, is right? I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So I go back to surfing Facebook. The next guy comes in here, has this huge hose, and he's hosing down my truck. Start or he starts hosing down my truck, and he starts right on my driver's side here, right? My window was clearly down to here. And he gushed this huge water, this huge water stream. It wasn't like a regular jet stream. It was like a, they were just soaking the truck, right? And he starts here and it pours into here, goes all over my dash, over my GPS, my e-log, my whole dash. I had to quickly dry everything down. And he kept going and he wouldn't stop. And I, I had to quickly turn the key on and roll up the window and the window was still rolling up while he's spraying in here. And I started yelling at him, like, stop, stop, stop. And so he says, oh, oh, what's what's going on? So I opened my door, I said, my window was open. And he looks at me like, oh, oh, I didn't see that. Is it closed now? He, he seriously asked me, is it closed now? I'm like, I, I tapped on the, I tapped on the window here. I'm like, yeah, now it's closed. But, you know, the window is down to here, right? That's why I'm upset. The window's down to here. You didn't see that the window was open, that water was streaming into my cab, and then you didn't see the window start to move up, you just kept spraying? I'm gonna go in and talk to their office about this one. Because that's an expensive GPS, that was a gift from one of you guys. You know who you are. That's not a cheap GPS. And it just soaked it. It's okay though, I, I dried it off, I think it'll be fine, nothing got damaged. So, if something did get damaged, though, I'd have to go after them for that then, yet. Oh, bad first impression. Bad first impression. I'm upset. Trucker Josh is mad. How do you not notice the window's open? And it's not like he started spraying, like, at the back of the truck, either, so that I could be like, oh, shoot, they're washing the truck. I should roll up the window, right? No, I'm sitting here waiting. I didn't even know they were in here waiting for them. He walks right up beside my truck here, right there, and sprays it right in my window for like a solid 10 seconds while I'm trying to roll up the window. Even as my window was rolling up, he's still spraying it in here, standing right there, looking at it. And then he's, he's like, oh, I didn't know it was open. So that's probably why it's a lot cheaper here. Uh, they only got one guy washing the truck. I don't want to sound like I'm being too harsh or anything, but I think we can all sort of generally agree that when you're standing beside a vehicle and you're spraying water at it, most people notice when the window is halfway down. And okay, maybe you overlooked that, right? When someone inside the vehicle starts yelling, stop, stop, and then you see the window start to move up, you would stop spraying, right? It's almost like he was trying to get it in my truck. Oh. You know, uh, I try to cut everybody some slack. You know, we've gotta be uh, forgiving and uh, understanding and, you know, it doesn't say anywhere that we can't be. I think it's a righteous anger, you know? I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What would you do? What would you do? You're sitting in a truck wash waiting for them. I guess the moral of the story is always have your windows rolled up. Maybe you can pin this on me. Or maybe always make sure the windows are rolled up before you spray water at a truck. I don't know, maybe you can pin it on him. I don't know, let me know what your opinion is down below in the comment section. Is it my fault or is it their fault? But it is definitely not my fault that they didn't know I was in here, that they forgot about me in here for 40 minutes. That's, uh, that's not my fault. Okay, but it's a, it's a first impression. First impressions mean a lot to me and mean a lot to most people. So it puts a sour taste in my mouth. But, you know, I'm always willing to give them another shot. I'll come back and try them again some other time and see. Maybe this was just one of those times where maybe everybody's just having a bad day. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll come back. I'm not going to write them off just yet. I, I'd encourage you guys, come check them out too if you guys want to. Uh, let me know if you have the same experience or not. And maybe this is just a one-time thing. You know, I'm already starting to feel myself calming down and you know nothing got damaged in here it got wet but I got to it fast enough that I could dry it out and you know accidents happen and you know what that's all right it's my first time here let's not make any judgments next time we come back if it happens again well then we know we can write them off but uh 
He seems to be doing a pretty good job, though. I mean, on, on everything else. Like, he's, he's being a lot more detailed than the Blue Beacon guys are. Maybe he feels bad that he soaked my entire cab. <laughs> I don't know, but he, he seems to be doing a really good job now. Just remember, when you do come to the Blue Water Wash, make sure your windows are rolled up tight. Because they're not going to check. <laughs> Who's getting under the hood real good there? He actually got onto the back of my truck and is washing behind my headache rack for me. So that's sort of, that's really cool. So, okay, bad experience turning into a good experience. I had to wash down the inside of my windshield here because it had gotten all wet. So I figured I may as well just wipe down properly right away, right? But, yeah. It's getting the engine real good there. So I guess the moral of today's story for you young people out there and for you guys my age too, whatever, I, I don't want to tell you guys what to do, but what I find in my life is if you really want to ream someone out and really go in there and yell at them because you're mad, even if it's legitimate, take a half hour, go for a walk. For me, I just sat in the truck here just... You know, looking around, you start to realize, you know, no one was hurt, nothing got damaged, thank God, and uh, of course I got mad. Who wouldn't get mad? Your whole inside of your truck gets soaked, like... But... You know, if I would have gone into the office right then, I probably would have just... <laughs> I probably would have just raised a bit of hell, like they say. But, you know, now I'll go in there, I can calmly tell them, you know... Maybe just remind the guys to make sure all the windows are shut because, you know, people like me come in here. Well, I was waiting in here for 40 minutes. That's my, why my window was down. It was getting muggy and hot in here. I wanted fresh air and I wanted them to be able to talk to me. I thought they were going to come to my window and be like, hey, how's it going? No, they just came right up to the window and fire hosed me. <laughs> now I know. Now I know. But, uh, it's always best. See, like, this is what they were doing. I don't want to show them. But this is what they were doing. It was just like hosing me down. It's like a fire hose. Yeah. But everything's okay. I'm, I'm feeling better now. It's Before you go and uh, say things you might regret, just take a walk. I'll still let them know what happened, just so that they know what won't happen. But I won't be saying it out of anger then, right? I'll just be saying it out of like, hey, like this happened. Like, just so you know. Breathe, stay calm, stay calm. Always must stay calm. Because you go in there, you say things you regret. You know, I wanna come back here again. This is a very good location, they have good prices. The guy's doing a good job washing my truck right now. I wanna come back here and get another truck wash one day. And if I go in there and embarrass myself yelling at them, well, it's gonna be very awkward coming back for another truck wash or, you know, Depending on how much you lay into them, maybe they won't want to see you again. I gotta slip through whatever this is here. Seemed like they did a good job. I mean, I gotta go up to the office now and pay and let them know what happened. You see how it is outside? It's, it's gonna get dirty right away again, right? That's why I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a big fancy truck wash. I just wanted my truck washed. It's gonna get dirty before I even get home. Oh, big bump right there. Good thing I don't got a low bumper. Does this gate open automatically? There's a guy that just went through here and the gate opened for him. Is it gonna close on me? Don't do it. Don't close on me. I'm a paying customer. I got soaked for this. So yeah, this is a very actually nice location. You know, I'd, I'd recommend the truck wash still. Just make sure your windows are closed, but uh, uh, it's cheaper than the Blue Beacon. It's, they did a more detailed job. Could be because they felt bad. I don't know. Maybe it won't be that good every time. And for me, it's right in my region. So it's it's on my way home or on my way out. I mean, the closest blue beacon to me is in Fargo, North Dakota. So. Go in here, pay the good people, let them know that my interior got a little soaked, just so that they know to let that guy know, you know, 
don't do that again. That wasn't very nice. People don't like to have an actual bath. I came here to give my truck a bath. I, I'm gonna have a bath at home, thank you very much. I don't need a bath here. And we're on our way. Truck will be a little dirty by the time we get home, but it won't be that dirty. It won't be like Northern Ontario dirty. I mean, that's that's what that whole freight was about going to, to Ontario there. Uh, with the spools where I had to tarp it, they wanted me to wash it, and I said, no, I'm just gonna tarp it. Uh, the only, you only get have to do that during winter time because in northern Ontario you saw the two-lane highway it's very messy it's very dirty you always come out of there just caked in salt and dirt and people don't want their freight arriving with salt and dirt especially if they those spools were going inside their factory they were gonna work with them or something something so uh, that's why that happened but uh, yeah going through northern Ontario your truck just gets full of salt and if you just leave that on your truck it's gonna rust a lot sooner at least that's what they say. I mean, I've never sat there and actually watched it and timed it, but I trust them. You know, they say yeah, it's gonna make it. It's gonna make it rust, I believe. So it was a good experience. Let's uh, let's not throw them under the bus. They were they were good. The lady in the office was very polite and kind. I told her what happened, and she apologized. And, I mean, what can she do, right? It happened. It's an accident. We had there was an accident. There was an incident. There was an accident. I let the people know in the office, they, they'll do whatever they want. I don't want to get the guy fired. I mean, he, he made a mistake. A silly one. And I don't understand how it happened, but that's why they call it an accident. And nothing was damaged, so. Ah, let's go home. We have, uh, today is Friday when I'm filming this, so we have tonight. We have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday morning. <clears throat> but Tuesday morning we have that fertility appointment, so I won't be at home really on Tuesday I'll just be pretty much Going into the city then coming home packing up the truck and leaving So my total for this truck wash came out to $72 that was for the wand wash and the engine wash Engine wash was a little pricey in my opinion. I mean at uh, Blue Beacon, it's what, five bucks for an engine wash? Or is it 10 bucks? 10 bucks for an engine wash, right? And that's American, so that's about like 13 bucks Canadian. So 20 bucks for an engine wash was a little steep, but you know, they made up for it with a cheap wash on the other side. Yeah. Plus I got my interior washed for free. <laughs> Look at it that way. There you go, free interior wash. Just go in there with your window half open. <laughs> and we made it and the tree is still burnt out in that section there <laughs> it'll be like that till next year well, we're gonna go buy a new tree on boxing day i think which is sort of like black friday up here but it's the day after christmas all the stores have like super good deals and sales because they're all trying to get rid of their christmas stock so in british commonwealth we call that day boxing day Probably go get a new tree then. We'll see. Got the whole crew here. We got Mr. Diesel. Hey, Diesel. I'm just closing up this vlog here. Did you tell him about your car wash, your truck wash, man? Yeah, I did. I did. We That was this same vlog. It's just we're on the next day right now. They know about it. The guy did a good job. Uh, it was fine. It was fine. We got our foster boy, Frankie. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, you old man? How's it going? You good boy? What y'all want? Why do you look so grumpy? Why do you look so grumpy? We got our own boy here, our own Frank, but we'll just refer to him as Wiener. Hey Wiener, what you doing? Cleaning my paws, what you want? I think they're clean, man. I think they're clean. You're a little, a little obsessive over those things, you know? You little pretty boy. Pretty boy, pretty boy. No, <laughs> you're a good boy. And where do we have uh, the last one? I believe we have a Chevy in here somewhere. I believe there's a Chevy in this house, a big golden wolf. Hello? Is there a golden wolf in this house? Is there any golden boys? There he is. 
There he is. Fluffy golden wolf. Good boy. You wanna sit? Can you sit? You wanna end off the vlog? Hey guys. Oh, oh, it's having a good nap. Oh, it's so bright out here. Chevy. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to everybody. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Mom taught you to do that, you weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> he likes the butt scratches, so he puts his butt by you all the time. He wants his butt scratched. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Yep, that's the spot. That's the spot. Look at my tail. <laughs> so thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, we're at home. And I have a lot of videos to edit right now, so I better get to it. We just finished an hour and a half live stream. That was an hour and a half I could have used to be editing videos, but I spent it with you fine people, and I have no regrets. It was great. I don't always do a live stream, so it's fun to be able to re uh, converse with you guys in real time, even if it's sort of video one way and comments the other way. I had a lot of fun. Go check it out. I left it up on my channel if you guys want to see it. It's like an hour and a half if you guys have that kind of time to hang out. See you later. Thanks for watching.